part five of the pool filter on part one is from January 6, 2019, and and that's probably gonna and we're gonna and, Jan, and the other parts are from today, from July 11, 2022. This is a pressure gauge. Do you know you need to backwash or change the clean or clean your filter or recharge the gauge? The pressure gauge will look something like this, or will look like something like this. And you're gonna know if your pressure is high. If your pressure, and what we're gonna use that pressure gauge for an example, because. If your pressure in this one's a little old and very dirty and very old, this pressure gauge is like ancient, probably from the 60s or 1800s, I don't know. Goes up like um, there's a glare and it's a really hard, okay? Goes up to like 20 or 30 or 60. If you have size 60 is bad, you have a backwash and filter. In text versions have like a green and a yellow and a red. Green is fine. Yellow is you backwash and red is bad. Then, uh, then that's the time you have to change out your filter cartridge. And then it will backwash or charge the GE filter. And the sand filter I'm also using every video is this one. It needs, it needs January 6, 2019. From 2018. No old oh, cool thing is no air bubbles. I like, just fixed it. And I'm also going to do a video on that also for all you people that bought and buying these type of filters and just not liking it because they're air bubbles and you have the same setup design like I have. I'm showing you how to do it to remove all the air bubbles. Then after that, we're going to, and that was going to be part six. How to move all the air bubbles. Actually, no, it's part five. I'm doing the next video. Please. This is part five filter maintenance. And that's the reader filter gauge. And pool ring and filter maintenance. And that's going to be it for now.